Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man. Uh, I wasn't <sighs> awkward. Let's just start. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, the Cutman stage because that's what most people start with, and that's what I'm gonna start with. Uh, it's a little confession before, well, not before I start because I already started, but a little confession. I've never actually played this game before, so I guess this is a semi blind run. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it the blur, a blurry, a blurry run. Sorry, the words. I'm gonna go ahead and call it the blurry run because um, I played this game before, but I haven't played it enough to like know everything. I've only played it like once or twice. That was when I was a kid. And yeah, I did some practicing over the winter break, but that was I only did practice for Mega Man One, which is this one. So uh, I, I, when it comes to like Mega Man Two, Three, Four, Five, and Six. Uh, I don't know anything about them, like in terms of like stages and gameplay wise and everything. The only ones I played are the original and Mega Man 7 for the Super Nintendo. So, uh, with that being said, please excuse me if like I'm not very good at it. Besides, Mega Man games are known to be like notoriously hard. And I know it seems I'm doing really easy, like I'm doing really good right now, but that's because this is cut my stage and there's a reason people tell me to start with this one. Uh, I've never actually beat this game before. I mean, well, nah, I've actually never beat this game before. I've seen the ending and everything, and I've seen the final stage, but I've never actually, like, completely done it myself or anything. And also, like, I kind of know the abilities and stuff, and, like, like for example, I know there's a gut man, Guts Man, Ice Man, Torch Man, Fire Man, or whatever, Elect Man. Metal Man. Wait, no, that's Mega Man 2. Uh, anyway, so again, this is a half blind LP. I'm gonna go ahead and, for the sake of comedy, I'm gonna call it a blurred LP. You know, get it blurry because it's not blind, but it's not clear either. Okay, then we have a word for the game you played before. Uh, one thing I don't, one thing I never understood though was the whole clear points thing. Does that mean I have to get that many points in order to clear the stage, or what does that mean? Like, I don't know, like I said, I, I, I haven't played this game enough to like know everything. In fact, I don't, in fact one thing, uh, shoot, words, <clears throat> god I'm so awkward. Maybe it's because it's been a while since I recorded, maybe? That might be the case. Anyway, oh crap. Um, from what I heard, this game is like not easy. It's kind of hard, but it's not as hard as Mega Man 2, so I guess it should be okay, you know, for now. Uh, I did play through like other stages, and the Iceman stage really got to me. Like I, there was a part I couldn't get past, and it wasn't the disappearing platforms part. I, I actually got through that one without no problem. It's the part after the disappearing platforms part. I don't remember that part was like really, really, really tough. And then the leg man, let's see. There was a part after... I don't know how to describe it. Oh, oh crap, I got hit. Whatever. Oh. I don't know how to describe that part, but there was a ladder with like this thing shooting out at you. And I remember that part was being really hard. Can I jump over here? Oh crap, no I can't. Uh, I'm probably gonna die to cut mine because of like the low health I have. Probably, maybe, I don't know. You know, I was thinking maybe I should have started with an easier game. Like, I probably should have gone straight to Mega Man. But whatever, what's done is done. Oh man, I was hoping I would, I would get like a healing item. They probably stay here and grind, but that's. eh. Actually, I think that's the most interesting spawn I heard. I never actually knew. Oh crap. Just throw him down a little. That's the way. Ah! Come on, I can do this, I can do this! Oh! Whatever, right? You see, that's that's a nice thing about these games. Like, they're hard, but they're not, like, stupidly hard. That's why I like the Mega Man games. Like, it, that's why, um, if you watch, uh, Eagle Raptor Sequelitis, you'll see that, like, this game is, like, designed as a learning experience, I guess? I already know how to say it. But, yeah, like, this, this game isn't meant to be hard. This game is meant to be, like, it's not meant to be easy either, it's supposed to be like a challenge that is easy to learn. It has like a good learning curve, and like, 
it never it never really gets stupidly insanely difficult. Bad I won. Wow, that was pretty easy. No wonder they always start with cuts, man. <laughs> cut man, not cuts man. Oh, I get it. The clear points is the amount of points it gives you for being in the stage. Okay, I get it now. Uh, see, that only took five minutes of awkwardness. Uh, uh, next I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for Bomberman, cause why not? I don't really know what his weakness is. Yeah, that's another thing. I don't know what these guys' weaknesses are, for the most part. I do know a few. For example, I know Bomberman beats Gutsman. And, uh... What is it? Iceman beats Fireman. But aside from that, I don't really know any of the weaknesses. Anyway, you look... I've actually been saving up this joke for a while. Oh, look at these Death Stars in the background. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's completely unoriginal. I'm pretty sure everyone who's ever played Mega Man has said that joke before. I touched that. These orange Death Stars in the background. Okay, let's see, what are you? I do remember there was a part after, like, it, a while. It, it gets hard because of, like, the enemy placement. But well, aside from that, like aside from the enemy placement, it's not really that bad. There's that enemy that shoots like eight ways, and like you have like one platform wide jumps. Another thing is I'm pretty stingy with like my weapons, so I try not to use them that much because I have limited amounts. In fact, I'm like that with like a lot of special weapons I have limited amounts. You'll notice like if I've ever played a game like Mega Man, I, I, I will be stingy with like full weapons and stuff. And I know they give you recharges, but uh, also if I ooh, ooh. also if you ever see me play Metroid, uh, like you'll notice I'm gonna be really stingy with the missiles and stuff. Then again, that's because I'm not good with like limited weapons. You'll see me that I only use them in bosses, and even then I'm gonna like try to recover as many of them as possible. Oh yeah, the part that comes after this is the part that I had a trouble with. See, there's these spikes in the bottom, and then that thing that, like, always, for some reason, like, it just always gets to me. Crap. See what I mean? Anyway, that's, that's that's the hardest part of the stage for me, but aside from that, the stage really isn't that bad. Anyway, I'm probably gonna do, like, two stages per episode, because I know, I know I'm used to, like, 20-minute recordings, but, eh. Stop! Oh, I wasted that one up and then some. Then I get the feeling I'm probably gonna get a game over here. In fact, there's probably some secret to like this part that's like makes it so stupidly easy, but I'm just not getting it. Oh, and I'm shooting these in vain, like hoping for a one-up, but I know I'm not gonna get it. I mean, I'm not gonna get one. And even if even if one of them does drop a one-up, okay, let's see if I can get to pattern now. Okay, I see a safe point or safe. There you go. See, I, I, that wasn't so bad. You know, once I figured out, I could just run through all of this. Oh, no. There you go, you see? Oh man, another one, really? Ew, one of these. There's a one-up that I want. Screw it, I'm gonna go ahead and waste it. Okay, come on. Come on. Wow, really? So much for being stingy. Cool. Well, I guess that makes it for the one-up I lost. But speaking of one-ups, ah, I only have one life left. So if I die to bomb Bomberman or Bomb Man, wait, is this the end of the stage? Yep. Basically, if I die, if I die to Bomb Man, they're pretty much screwed. This weapon's actually kind of easy to dodge, or sort of easy-ish. Not really. Come on. Oh, there you go. I forgot what those things are called, but they called the something Joe. I remember from like the sequelitis. Mega Man, Mega Man, those are called Hammer Joes. They'll swing their hiding by the hammers and shut up! <laughs> That's right, Igor, Igor after the genius when it comes to these things. Oh crap, oh crap. Ah, whatever. I, I took a hit. One hit. I wonder if this guy's weak to cut, man. There's only one way to find out. Oh crap. No, he's not weak to cut, man. And it's a ring, it's a short range weapon, I'd rather not waste it. Crap! Oh, this 
this guy suffers in. Whew. Okay, I, I can do this, I can do this. Come on. Come on, come on. I'm gonna start a normal shot. There you go. I find it funny how you can get hit even after you beat him. So there's a chance I can like kill him or beat him. Blow him up. Get his life to zero. Whatever you call it. And then get hit by his bomb and die. I said that was pretty hilarious when that happens. Um, actually I want to keep this episode kind of short. Because this is a, all in all this is a pretty short game. It's just these six stages followed by like the Dr. Whitey stages. Which isn't that, like, I forgot how long the Dr. Whitey stages are, but they they do get pretty long. But overall, this is still a pretty short game once you get all six weapons. So uh, next episode, I'm gonna go ahead and get Gutsman, and uh, after that, probably Electman, and after that, Iceman, and followed by Fireman, and that's gonna be my the order I do things in. Probably not the best order, but that's the order I'm doing it. Oh, whatever. See you on next episode. I'm gonna go ahead and render and upload this right now while I can. So, uh, bye, and take care, everyone.